Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Xeral tank copter and this was uh, formerly known as the B Unstoppable drone that was supposed to be released some time ago there were some troubles not with the drone itself and not with the project but actually this idea was uh, stolen by another producer and they sold it and now the Xeral company got the patented uh, license of this uh, invention as the, it, this is their invention and now they can actually commercially sell it and all this time they actually improved the design uh, by a lot of times and although this is a toy grade copter this is super fun or at least we hope it's super fun and today we are going to check out how this thing works and all those uh, improvements such as FPV with uh, application, wireless uh, transmission, FPV goggles and the list goes on. So let's take it out of the box. And in the box we get of course the quadcopter that uh, is packed really nice, goggles, transmitter and the drone itself. The drone is very light uh, with the tracks installed, propellers, battery, it weighs only about 130 grams and it has a very smart design as this is collapsible in case you hit something at speed with it they are going to collapse, collapse the arms that also hold the tracks and it will not break so it has pretty uh, nice design and it also made out of a very nice and flexible and resistant plastic so it will not crash on impact it also has a motor protection so each motor although they are cordless motors and they are rather big they have impact protection so if a propeller is stopped in mid-air by a branch or something like that it will automatically stop the motor and uh, prevent it from uh, burning out the installation is uh, straightforward so you need to take the tracks and install them and you have these wheels with uh, guides on them so you need to follow those it even helps if you collapse them a bit so it's going to be easier to install the tracks and you can start from one side then go to the other go to the other wheel and here and then try to put the arms back into position so it's going to straighten up the uh, track you can also use the regular method such as putting them on three sides and then pulling a bit on one remaining wheel and this will sit on perfectly and now I'm going to install the other one Further in the box you are going to find the manuals for the quadcopter and for the FPV goggles. You are going to find the spare propellers, one battery, the charger for the battery which is USB powered and that's great because you can charge this from a power bank, a pretty tiny charger and you also get a screwdriver there to change the propellers, the transmitter, batteries are not included for it, you get a phone clip and the goggles and the head strap for the goggles. The controller has a very nice and uh, minimalistic design although it's uh, very functional and you can control all the drone functions from it. You have buttons here on the top, you have the joysticks for controlling the drone and you can complement this with the app and in the app you have some extra settings for the drone but uh, you can fly it without the app if you really want to and here you get the high rates and low rates mode so you can make the drone faster or slower you have the automatic takeoff and landing but you also have uh, manual control over the takeoff and landing which is a big plus you have the headless mode if you are a beginner and this will help you um, when you lost orientation of the drone and you don't know its heading where is the front and where is the rear of the drone uh, the right and left it's going to be always left and right in uh, relative to your position and not the drone position uh, it makes it a bit more easy at the beginning although I recommend you to learn to fly this without headless mode and here you have the key for turning on or off the camera and taking pictures the goggles are also really nicely made you have independent lens so the app will also give you kind of a 3d vision of your drone and on this side here you get this uh, uh, clip that opens up and this one 
and here on these notches you can fit your mobile phone and because of this design you can fit very large phones without having any kind of problem so this will go in like that and here is the shroud that's where it comes in place so you can put this on like that on this side so it darkens up all the parts around the mobile phone and then with the included strap you can fix this to your head by using the provided uh, mounting places here if you are a beginner I recommend you to use the clip and use the phone like that and don't use the goggles for the first flights until you get uh, custom with the drone because it will help you a lot more if you are piloting line of sight because you are going to see better what the drone is doing and you can see it on the monitor how it responds and you can see the drone flying if you are flying FPV or with the goggles you are only going to see what the drone sees but you are not going to see anything else so you can end up going into a branch or into a tree or somewhere else too far to get the drone back so uh, you should take care of that also you get of course the battery the battery is uh, 1s battery 3.7 volt 900 milliamps lipo battery all right so i'm going to start the app the app uh, is uh, called uh, seral like the company and i'm also going to insert the battery also you need to provide your own micro sd card in case you want uh, pictures and recordings saved on the drone directly and i'm going to also install the battery the battery plugs in directly into this connector it doesn't have any kind of other extra wires or uh, other connectors when you insert the battery you close up the battery hatch and the drone is now starting up and on the phone you should be able to find the new wireless uh, new wireless network and that's the drone you are going to connect to that and now you are going to select here control mode also started the transmitter and now you need to bind the transmitter with the drone and to do that you are going to do down and now it's uh, connected to the quadcopter and I have started the recording and now I'm going to take off in uh, manual mode manual mode uh, take off and to do that you are going to arm the motors by pressing uh, both joysticks down and inward motor have started and now the drone flies and because it's kind of windy the wind is taking it away and I'm going to select high rates and on high rates I can find the wind with no problem flies really nice it's very stable and it has altitude hold but uh, it's not a drone that you should fly on a bad weather because this is kind of a, more of an indoor drone and at 130 grams you can fight a lot of wind with it nonetheless on a calm day this is really nice to pilot outside when you land the motors will automatically shut off when the drone is on the land you can press this button here and that's going to engage tank mode and now with both joysticks you are going to control the tracks one is for the right track and the other is for the left track so pushing both of them forward would make this even on this grass to act like a tank and it's doing a rather good job considering again it's a tiny size and it's actually really fun and at any moment you can re-engage quadcopter mode arm the motors and take off again and if the controller beeps uh, this has a kind of warning for uh, 
low battery or low signal and that's a warning that uh, you should get closer to the drone and take it back because otherwise you risk losing it due to wind or bad uh, reception of the wireless and the wind is picking up rather bad yet this little fighter is still fly flying really nice but I'm going to try to play it safe and keep it closer to me because you never know you can see the tilting of the quadcopter trying to fight the wind this drone doesn't have any kind of uh, optical flow positioning or uh, other things to keep it in position so it will always go with the wind yet again it has very nice uh, flight characteristics for being such a small drone and such a light drone and now we can go back to tank mode and that's a lot of fun also on the screen you have uh, another interesting thing you actually have the remaining battery level of the quadcopter so it has a kind of telemetry it sends data back to the uh, app with the wireless and that's really nice because you always know how much battery remaining you have and you also have the signal for the drone also in the app you have some uh, settings here and you can change the transmission quality you can go for uh, uh, 480p and uh, HD uh, 720p uh, going in uh, higher definition you can clearly see an improvement on the image but the transmission quality should not influence the recording quality of the drone it should only influence the uh, image quality here on the display and if it has or not uh, lag with the HD definition you can see that the camera is a bit slower when the drone moves it has a slight delay and the image is a bit more choppy uh, when you go to normal resolution lower resolution the video is less choppy yet it's not so clear and it has more artifacts but it's more fluid so it depends on you if you want to pilot this FPV you might want to get on the lower resolution if you are using the screen here and flying line of sight you might go into high definition and I still have some battery left so let's fly a bit more with it going back into drone mode arming up the motors going into high rates because it's windy automatic uh, altitude hold works also pretty good but when there are uh, powerful gusts of wind sometimes it uh, deviates a bit but not very much a cool tiny drone I am going to go against wind and now I'm going to turn it back on 
Wow, and that was really fast and that was my mistake. Took it too low, too fast. And that's actually very good because I did a crash test. And now you can see the collapsible pivots under work. So you see here this arm haven't, didn't broke. It just bent up and now it's back in place. And also here the same thing. This arm went that way, saved both the tracks and the arms and the drone is now ready to fly again without any kind of problems. And it arms up again. I'm going to select high rates. And it's flying again. Still showing 27% battery. The stated flight time of the drone is about 9 minutes in, uh, of course, drone mode, while in tank mode it should be uh, something like greater than 50 minutes. Probably you can get up to 20 minutes of playtime. Also depends on how fast and how furious you are with it. because the wind is too powerful so going back into tank mode now and I'm going to try to bring it back to me it even goes uphill And I still have some battery left. Alright, and now I'm going to stop the recording to properly save the video. Alright, and I hope that my SD card was okay and has recorded my action here. You can see on a hard surface this is uh, very fast. It's a uh, drift tank you can actually have a lot of fun indoor on hard floors with it it's going to be really fast but on this uh, grass it's too much because the grass will catch on through the wheels and tracks but uh, it's pretty fun on other type of uh, surfaces So that was it for now. I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, review of the new Xeral model. Uh, I'm actually impressed by its uh, tiny size and performance. Uh, this should be kind of an indoor drone for its uh, weight and uh, size. Although it's uh, a fun drone to also use outside, but the wind today is too powerful for uh, good flight, so it's more of uh, trying to keep the drone close to me and not letting it go too far and lose it in a creek there or in the forest. So it was pretty fun. I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this. And also if you have any kind of questions or uh, want to find more about this, you can leave me a comment. Also I'm going to include a discount coupon if you want to get this drone you are going to find the link in the video description and there you are going to find a pretty nice price discount for it. Until my next video see you and bye bye!